What's good, EYTVC? What's good, Fight Fans Boxing Heads Around the World? B. Marsh with another boxing video. So I was watching this fight tonight, Dusty Hernandez Harrison out of Southeast Washington, D.C., fighting against um, Mike Dallas Jr. out of Bakersfield, California. This was a fight at the D.C. Armory, you know what I'm saying? And, um, man, if you ever saw a robbery, there was one. If you ain't never seen one, well, you should have watched this fight tonight. Man, Dusty Hernandez Harrison ain't win this fight tonight. You know what I'm saying? He fought against Mike Dallas Jr. You know, I'd seen Mike Dallas Jr. fight a couple times before. Last I seen him on TV, he fought against, um, uh, I want to say that was Lucas Matisse, you know what I'm saying? He got knocked out, you know what I mean? You know, well, he fought this man, uh, my, um, Dusty Hernandez, and he basically beat the man, you know what I'm saying? He checked it, he even dropped the man in round five. He was killing him with the hand speed, you know what I'm saying? He was going on the inside, on the outside. He was letting his hands go. He was throwing flurries, you know what I mean? He would let throw four-punch combos. And Dusty Hernandez, you know, he just wasn't capable of keeping that, that man off of him, you know what I'm saying? The hand speed was, you know, had that man, Dusty Hernandez, keeping his hands in his pockets. He wasn't letting his hands go. And when he did, it was a little bit too late, you know what I'm saying? He was mostly trying to, uh, you know, start. he started now fighting like in the ninth and the tenth round. But, you know, the man Dusty Hernandez was in there fighting with the guy who had more experience. You know, Mike Dallas been in there with guys like Lucas Matisse and um, Mauricio Herrera, Josecito Lopez, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's been in there with some guys, but, you know, Hernandez is a guy who's a young dude. They've been bringing up, bringing him up real slow. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching him for a while. I seen him on. I uh, used to be on um, ESPN Friday Night Fights. You know what I'm saying? And I even seen the man live on the Golovkin undercard. Um, on uh, at MSG. You know what I'm saying? So I've seen the guy fight. You know what I mean? And you know, to me, it's, it's just missing something, man. You know, I've seen him get dropped by lesser opponents. And tonight he got dropped again in the fifth round, you know what I'm saying? You know, he was trying to clinch and, you know, the man, uh, Mike Dallas, was on the inside. And, you know, he basically threw his two, two left rights and caught him with the left hand, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the man, Mike Dallas, wasn't, um, he wasn't intimidated by fighting in the man, Dusty Hernandez's backyard, you know what I mean? And, and he took the fight to him and he got it, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? He won seven out of ten rounds. And um, Dusty Hernandez even dropped the man, but it was with a double low blow to the Bozak, you know what I'm saying? Two low blows, you know what I'm saying? And the ref ain't call it, you know what I mean? And they called it a knockdown. But if you know anything about boxing in D.C., man, yo, I love D.C., man. D.C. is awesome, but on the real, man, boxing cards in D.C. is always going to be some controversy, you know what I mean? Look at the Badu Jack versus um, Lucian Butte a couple weeks ago. There was controversy. Even that James DeGale and Porky Medina, it was a, you know, controversy, you know what I'm saying? It was a closer fight than what the judges' scorecards indicated, you know what I mean? And uh, even back when, Lamar Peterson and... Um, Lamont Peterson and Amir Khan. That was a controversial fight. Matter of fact, the fight that the the um the ref in tonight's fight with Mike Dallas was the fight in that Amir Khan fight. You know what I'm saying? Even um um uh, what's his name? Um King Kong Ortiz when he fought uh, uh Tony Thompson in DC about a month and a half ago. You know what I'm saying? That fight was controversial. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he dropped the man three times. But if uh, Ortiz dropped the man, um, Tony Thompson, three times, he made the fight look easy. But go go ahead and look at the judges' scorecards in that fight. You would have thought Tony Thompson was in that fight. Even in some of them rounds that Tony Thompson got dropped, some of the judges, one of the judges had Tony Thompson winning that that round. You know what I'm saying? You check it, so it's real crazy, man. DC got some controversial judges. And again, it was the same ref in that Tony Thompson and Ortiz fight who was the ref tonight in Dusty Hernandez fight. And he was the ref in that Amir Khan and, and, and King King Pete, Lamar Peterson fight. You check it, so it's real controversial, man. And tonight, it was the same thing, and I knew it. You know, I had Mike Dallas winning this fight. 
You know, I knew Dusty and Anders, you know, hadn't been in there with a guy like Mike Dallas who had that kind of experience. And, you know, they threw Dusty and Anders, you know, he was the main event. You know, he's on Rock Nation. This was a Rock Nation promoted card. And, you know, Dusty Hernandez is a guy who has two endorsements. And, you know, boxers typically don't have too many endorsements. But the man Dusty Hernandez has got a, got a feeler endorsement and Geico, you know what I'm saying? Geico Insurance um, um, endorsement. So, you know, Rock Nation getting him these deals, man. But tonight he didn't show. He didn't come. He didn't come to fight, you know what I'm saying? He even got dropped in front of the home crowd. And, you know, I'm, I ain't biased. I'm going to call it how I see it, man. I see it. And the man, Mike Dallas, came and he wasn't intimidated by the home crowd and they beat him at the Armory, you know what I mean? Too bad he ain't get the W. They gave him a draw. And in my opinion, he don't need to fight that man again. He beat him. You know, Dusty Hernandez, at the end of the fight, there was a little squabble between the two camps, Dusty's camp and Mike Dallas, you know what I'm saying? You know, Mike Dusty's, uh, his trainer's... Um, is Barry Hunter from the Headbangers gym. So there was some, some, you know, some, there was going back and forth. Even Mike Dallas, when the Big Tigger interviewed him with the post-fight interview. By the way, it was a, a terrible interview by Big Tigger, man. He don't know what kind of questions to ask the man after a fight. Yeah, so, you know, the man's speech was real slurred, Mike Dallas, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's how he always talks, but... Man, he won the fight, man, and I knew this would happen. I had a feeling this would happen, and sure enough, he did. They gave, they gave the man a draw. So, you know, if you saw the fight, let me know what y'all thought about it, man. Let me know what you think about this robbery that happened in D.C., you know what I'm saying, on this Rock Nation card on BET, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you thought of the fight, you know what I'm saying? You thought it was a blatant robbery, or do you think... Um, the man Dusty Hernandez did enough to make it be a draw, you know what I mean? All right, y'all, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up, and please subscribe, Be Marsh Boxing. Thanks for listening. One.